Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Check Me. It's been a while uh, since I've posted, um, but uh, as football season starts off today, I'd like to come back on the track and talk all sports um, as we go through this uh, pretty much football, hockey, basketball, baseball, track, whatever season. Um, one of the first things I want to address as I get back is this situation or just the comments that Noah Lyles made saying that uh, NBA players aren't world champions. I'm not sure why he said this um, because, first of all, understand this. Anybody with a brain knows that the NBA NBA is the best basketball in the world. Um, uh, that's why Euro play, European players come over here to play. That's why they make the most money. The best basketball is played in the in the um, in the um, the the USA. And uh, someone mentioned if the Denver Nuggets would it, would other teams be the Denver Nuggets team? Other uh, national teams, would they, other countries, could they be the Denver Nuggets team? They probably couldn't. Um, but I, I said this: the best players in the NBA would dominate the best players anywhere, any given day. It's not even a challenge. And the reason why the reason why it's not a challenge, if you think of it, the past 20 Olympics, I'm just going to pull it up. There's been 20 Olympics that the, the, that, the basketball, that, that the USA has competed in. They've won 16 out of the 20 Olympics. 16 out of 20. And then one year they withdrew. All right? I also say that in 2019 for the, we say, oh, well, they lost in the FIBA World Cup. In the FIBA World Cup, let's see this... This year, this team, let's, let's just talk about this team right here. And, sorry, in 2019, let's talk about the 2019 team. The 2019 team, right, that they sent to the FIBA World Cup did not have Devin Booker, Jimmy Butler, Mike Conley, DeMarcus Cousins, Steph Curry, DeMar DeRozan, Kevin Durant, Paul George, Draymond Green, Blake Griffin, Gordon Howard, Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, DeAndre Jordan, Kawhi Leonard, Victor Lopipo, Chris Paul, Isaiah Thomas, Clay Thompson, John Wall, uh, Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis, James Harden, Bradley Beal, Damian Lillard, Kevin Love, uh, Eric Golden. The I, the list goes on. This is who America did not send to the FIBA World Cup. The FIBA World Cup, no one cares about. If you look at the team in 2019, that 2019 had Derek White, right? Donovan Mitchell, Joe Harris, Marcus Smart. These are these are four guys that that uh, Donovan Mitchell was all star, but four guys that weren't even an all star, right? Harrison Barnes, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Mason Pumley, Miles Turner, Brooke Lopez, Chris Milton, and Kimmel Walker. This is the FIBA World Cup team. In 2019, uh, the year that the Toronto Raptors won, you had LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Steph Curry didn't even go. America sends the, not the garbage, but doesn't even send the best players to the FIBA World Cup. It's the second-hand players. And typically, uh, you know, whoever, whoever wants to get some work overseas over the summer, every year. So the FIBA World Cup is not even a true test of how good American players are. Now, if you look at the roster today, you have Austin Reeves on the on the FIBA World Cup roster. Austin Reeves. America shouldn't win it at all. But now since it's a big deal, America's gonna turn it up and they're gonna you know they're gonna win. But I say that because America it the best basketball is played in the in the NBA. It's like, okay, the world champions. Who is the NFL gonna play? Who are they gonna play? If NF, NFL NFL players, first of all, 70% of the NFL is black, right? The players are black. Um, most of the play, most, and if you think of it, there there are some African players who are coming who are coming over, but for the most part, most of the players in the NFL are black from the South. Let's just let's just put it like that. From the South, the West Coast, and then you know some 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 from the Midwest, right? And, and the white boys are corn huskers. Right, you got the athletes, the white boys from the south, white boys from the west coast, and you got some, some, you know, some from the Carolinas as well too. Football is the American sport, and if they were to go and play anywhere else, anywhere else, they would dominate. Name if listen to this video right now. Name me one, not one team, not one football team outside of the United States. Now, Canadian has some strong football, but those Canadian teams cannot compete with. Can I compete with those those uh, NFL teams? It wouldn't be fair. So when we talk about world champions, it's a it's it's common knowledge to know that the NBA world champions, the NFL world champions, NHL. The NHL may be a different story. <laughs> NHL may be a different story. I'm not sure they say world champions uh, or NHL because that's a different story. Because most of the players do come do come from Eastern Europe. They come from overseas. They come from Canada. But when you talk about the best team. Assembled 
ever in NFL and NBA, they're the champions. So no allows. I know it sounds good. You know, you're at the top of your game right now. Uh, and, hey, look, you know, he's a Virginia boy, you know, so uh, he's, he's right around the corner from where I live. You know, the Virginia boys sometimes are a little lonely, you know, but for him to come out and say that and then uh, Shik- Shikari to come out and say as well to, to confirm it, it's, it's just blasphemy. And, and anybody with the right mind who thinks that, oh, the European players are taking over, they're not. They're not. D- don't, don't, even, don't even think that. I will be surprised if we see a, another European. And, and if you look at the list of NBA champions, we'll look at Giannis, right? Giannis, right? We have two outliers. We, we've, seen, we've seen this and been to this before, right, with Dirk Nowitzki. But if you look at the pre, if previously, look at the, the best player in the NBA dating back, I mean, going back to whenever, right, the best team. Golden State Warriors, majority American. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks, one player that was overseas, but one player that was overseas, Giannis, he was a leader. I'll give him that. Los Angeles Lakers, majority American. Toronto Raptors, uh, yeah, Fred Van Fleet, but, Fred Van, uh, Fleet, but majority American. And Pascal Siakam, I think, as well, too. I'll give him that. Golden State Warriors, 2018, American. Golden State Warriors, American. Cavaliers, American. Golden State Warriors, American. San Antonio Spurs, you did have... Um, Quite Lair was the MVP, but you had Tim Duncan. Is he American? He, had, he played for, um, uh, I forgot what island, the Virgin Islands, I'm sure, where, where he played. But LeBron James, uh, the Miami Heat, Miami Heat, Dallas Mavericks, right? So that was the, the year that uh, the, the, the Mavericks beat the, the, the Heat, right? But then Lakers, Lakers, majority of, the, majority of the best players in the NBA are from America. There's no doubt about it. The best basketball is played in America. If you win in America, then you're the best. This is the best basketball team, hands down. And if if we, we see the highlights, if you look at the Olympics, when the players actually play, when the players actually play in the Olympics, America has won 19 out of the the, the three times. Uh, the the 19, uh, no, sorry, 19 out of the uh, 19 times they 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 played, they won 17 times. So even think and sit and talk about well, America is the basketball. Stop. If you go back to 2020 and look at the, the 2020 and you look at the roster in 2020, all right, the roster in in 2020 um, had where is it? Uh, let me see the roster. The roster in 2020 that won in 2020 had Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, Draymond Green, Drew Holiday, Kellen Johnson, Keldon Johnson. Zach Levine, Dan Litter, ja- JaVel McGee, Chris Milton, Jason Tatum. That was the team. No Kawhi. Right? No uh, no, uh, no, Kawhi. No LeBron James. No Steph. Right? You're talking about the three best players on that 2020, during 2020 didn't even play. And they mopped the floor with everybody. So, when we sit here and we talk about, oh, America, it's, it's, it's no, a no-brainer. You replace Jeremy Grant with LeBron James, <laughs> like, and you still win. Stop, stop the looniness, okay? Just stop the looniness. For anyone to say that the NBA champions aren't world champions, they're straight out buffoons, and I'll leave it as that. Straight out buffoon. 